good afternoon everyone so class 9 students let's prepare for our midterm exam fine so let us take the chapter data literacy let us do a quick revision of this chapter so first of all data means raw facts and figures okay and literacy is the skill to read understand the data in the right manner theek hai data ho gaya aapka and literacy means the ability to read usko data ko samajhna usko understand karna and then use the data in a proper manner now the next topic is data pyramid framework dikw hierarchy what is dikw hierarchy d stands for here yeah, you can see data i stands for information k stands for knowledge and w stands for wisdom so these are the like four levels in data pyramid first one you can see the base level and the last one wisdom is the top level so here we are first base level is data second one is information which is processed data and the third one is knowledge how things are happening and the last one is wisdom which is at the top level now let us uh, understand these concepts through the traffic light example first the data is data is what according to this picture which has been given that the traffic light is red and what would be the information that south facing traffic light on abc street has turned red and then what becomes knowledge traffic light in my direction has turned red and then the wisdom i need to stop the car now the next term data security and privacy so privacy related to our like how the data is being collected shared and used basically it focuses on the user rights and consent management and if we talk about the security part data security what does it mean it is used to protect the data from hackers and like attackers who might want to misuse our data so it involves all the safeguard and protective measures for our data these are some of the data security controls first one is password our password should be strong and a strong password is a combination of small letters small case letters upper case letters numbers and special symbols and now the authentication multi factor authentication mfa what does it do what does it do it verifies the user identity through multiple methods okay like it will ask for password theek hai aapse password mangega then it will ask for like otp also that we have to enter that otp and then it sometimes it can ask for the face scan also for your fingerprint as well okay now encryption what does it mean in encryption we convert data into coded format fine so that no other like unauthorized person can read your data ओके लाइक इसमें डेटा को ऐसा कोड बना देते हैं कि कोई दूसरा पढ़ ही ना सके और लाइक इंटरनेट पे जब हम कभी बैंक डिटेल्स भेजते हैं कोई पासवर्ड भेजते हैं दैट टाइम वी यूज इनक्रिप्शन नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज डेटा डिस्पोजल ठीक है समटाइम इट इज लाइक दैट वी आर डन विद द डेटा ठीक है द डेटा इज नो लॉन्गर रिक्वायर्ड सो वी यूज टू डिलीट इट राइट सो द डिस्पोजल शुड बी प्रॉपर ओके द डिस्पोजल शुड बी इन अ proper manner so that are also your data security controls point now the next is data classification overview see it is telling us about two types of data text data and numeric data text data is also known as qualitative information or jo numeric data hoga that is known as quantitative information now first of all the text data which is known as qualitative information text data mein we have two parts nominal and ordinal data nominal data kaun sa hoga which can't be ordered or ranked for example blood groups hai gender hai eye color hai we can't or, you know, like write all these in any order hum to kisi bhi ek proper order ya sequence mein nahi kar sakte neither we can rank it nor we can order it okay like blood group you can see a b a b and gender male female we can't order that that first male will come or first female will come we can't do like that in eye color in eye color also we can't write like this that brown first we have to write brown then blue then green there is no sequence in nominal data ordinal data mein kya hoga it can be ordered or ranked like in education 
elementary, middle, high school, college, in job position, employee, supervisor, manager. So there is an order or there is an rank. Now in satisfaction, poor, fair, good and excellent. Now if we talk about numerical data, that is known as quantitative data. It also has two parts. एक होगा आपका continuous data and another one is discrete data. Continuous data में क्या होगा? It can take any value within a range. एक value एक range के अंदर जो भी value होगी that we can take. So the examples are temperature, height and weight. And discrete data में क्या होगा? एक specific आपका data होगा, एक countable value होगी. जैसे कि for example tax scores में 85, 92 and 78, number of employees 25. So that is the exact data which can be count countable. So here we are structured versus unstructured data. Fine. So structured data कौन सा होगा आपका जो highly organized और formatted होगा? बेसिकली जो आपका टेबल के फॉर्मेट में इस डेटा होगा दैट इज नोन एज स्ट्रक्चर डेटा ओके व्हिच इज रिसाइड इन फिक्स फील्ड विद इन रिकॉर्ड और फाइल्स व्हाट डज इट मीन फील्ड्स मीन कॉलम रिकॉर्ड्स मीन रो जो आपका रो और कॉलम में रिसाइड करेगा जो अरेंज होगा उसमें तो ये आपका टेबल के फॉर्मेट में जो होता है दैट इज योर स्ट्रक्चर डेटा और अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा कौन सा होगा आपका लाइक ये मेन सॉरी like images audio and video files okay that is your unstructured data which has no predefined format jiska koi bhi predefined format nahi hota now moving on to the next slide basic data types here you can see four basic data types has been written in teaser data type theek hai also known as whole numbers ye kya represent karega whole number jo without decimal points ke honge और फ्लोट कौन सा होगा डेटा टाइप आपका डेसिमल नंबर्स वाला जो आपके पॉइंट वाले नंबर को नंबर जो पॉइंट्स के साथ में होते हैं उनको रिप्रेजेंट करेगा दैट इज नोन एज फ्लोट डेटा टाइप एंड समटाइम्स इट लाइक दैट वी नीड टू गिव द वैल्यू ट्रू एंड फॉल्स सो दैट डेटा टाइप इज नोन एज बुलियन उसको हम बुलियन कहते हैं फाइन इट हैज ओनली टू वैल्यूज इधर ट्रू और फॉल्स अनदर डेटा वुड बी स्ट्रिंग डेटा डेटा टाइप When we want to write any text at that time, we use string data type. ठीक है? So all these are your data types. So we are done with the like major points of this chapter, data literacy. Hope you all understood. So all the best for your exam. Thank you.